Hey guys, it's Hans Hobbies, and today I have a video um, about my Red Cat Racing Landslide. Now, I've been doing a lot of these landslide update and thoughts videos. Um, today, I have another quick update for you guys regarding my landslide. Um, and in the previous update, I have talked about the fact that I bent my chassis. So I ran it for the first time on 4S um, in my last video and I ended up bending the chassis. Uh, I, I landed a couple times, a little bit nose first, and I bent the chassis, the front of it, and also broke the rear body mounts. So I had to wait on some parts to get that fixed. I managed to straighten the chassis out as well as possible. Um, it's still slightly tweaked. You can see the front bumper is still pressed up against the body and pushed up. It should be riding about like there, but um, so it's not st it's still not perfectly straight. Eventually, I will probably get a new chassis for this just to have a, a nice, well-specced new one. Um, but for now, it's, it's for the most part put back together enough for me to drive. You can see the body still doesn't sit exactly, like directly on. You can see uh, I have the front bodies, a body post in, and the rear still isn't in. You have to kind of push around and search around for the rears to kind of sit in properly. So still not perfectly straight, but hopefully the thing I will show you guys today will fix that. Um, so when I bent the chassis, I bent uh, the front of the chassis here and I bent this upper deck. You can see how bent up that is. It's supposed to have a slight upwards bend to it, but um, not quite this dramatic. Um, but I just, you could bend this back as well, but this, this is a bit harder to bend because you don't have as much leverage on this. Um, so if you have the tools for it, you could probably bend this back, but I thought I might as well just pick up a brand new one because that will kind of get, act as a guide of how much I'm supposed to bend my chassis back forward. Um, and also this part was like three bucks on Amazon. Um, normally they're like $6, so, but I got, I found it cheap, so I just decided to just replace it. But um, basically, a lot of people are having tra uh, problems with bending their chassis. So what Red Cat went and did with their updated landslides was add this chassis brace in the front to kind of help um, brace the chassis. But unfortunately, they went with this setup here. So it, it ties together the front diff case, to the center diff um, uh, mounting area. And the problem with that is it, the chassis is still able to bend enough for, for it to get out of spec. Um, and also when it bends, it'll, it'll, it, it, will, it still allows the chassis to bend because when, it, when the chassis uh, bends upwards, this link will just push the center diff mount back. Like it'll flex it and move it back because this is a plastic piece. Um, had they made this in, out of aluminum and then bolted to this aluminum chassis, it might have worked a little bit better but still, um, that's really expensive. And two, it won't fix the problem entirely because the rear is still completely unbraced and the, the rear is still able to be um, uh, bent. Uh, the, thing, well, the one thing that this brace did help me with though is even though when I bent my chassis, it, this thing still keeps, it, keeps the chassis from bending too much to the point where my drive shaft will bend. Um, so my drive shaft was saved by this brace, but uh, my chassis unfortunately wasn't. So. The solution to that is to brace the front diff case to the rear diff case. A lot of like touring car, four wheel drive touring cars have that set up. A lot of like this flat touring car style monster truck or like buggy style monster trucks have that upper brace going on there. The reason they didn't with this truck is because of the center mounted motor um, is the reason why they didn't do any bracing. But that's where M2C racing comes in. I talked about this brace in the previous update video, and I finally have it in my hands. Um, I got this full uh, brace kit for 80 bucks. Um, I will also have a link in the description of a Red Cat dealer that sells this as a bundle so you can get a brand new landslide truck as well as the MT M M2C racing brace for 350 bucks rather than buying it for 380 bucks separately and then paying separate taxes and stuff. So that's, that's actually pretty nice. Um, I would recommend going that route because this is a vital piece. If you're gonna be doing any jumping with this truck, um, you need 
you need this brace. Honestly, I think Red Cat should be um, licensing M2C racing and just including like including this pre-installed on the truck, kind of like they did with a couple of their other chassis. Um, but uh, that unfortunately hasn't happened. I don't know the logistics for that, but that would be nice. But I have this chassis, chassis brace now and out of the box or out of the package, what you get is you get the main upper deck brace here as well as all the mounting hardware um, for everything. Um, here, this is more mounting brackets for it, all the mounting hardware, and they're nice fine thread hex hardware, so that's very nice. It also includes this bracket over here, and this is a motor mount brace, as well as an additional mounting plate for the upper deck, um, the, up, the chassis brace. And this piece basically braces your motor, because your motor is just basically floating up here and it's just held on by your motor mount. So in the event of a crash and you hit the motor up here, um, sorry about that. If you hit the motor here, you could break the, break the motor mount off or if the chassis bends, um, this could flex. So this will help further brace the chassis as well as brace the motor to the motor mount. So that's, that's pretty nice. Um, I believe this is also part of the new motor mount area. Um, and then more hardware here. Uh, and then you just uh, you get a single zip tie in here. Uh, also, there is a, a drill bit included because that is required for installation for one of the holes. So you include that, which is nice. And then a couple M2C Racing stickers, which I will put on my chassis brace or somewhere, I suppose. Um, but yeah, they have other stuff for like Arma and all that. So, um, and from just, I haven't test, I still have to test the, the, the chassis brace, but from what I've seen of other people using it and um, just their overall reputation, it seems like they do make pretty good um, products. And for being aluminum and CNC and anodized and everything, it's actually, I think, a pretty respectable price, 80 bucks for this, plus all the hardware and the drill bit. Um, I think that's that's definitely worth it, especially since the truck is already so cheap, it gives you some wiggle room on buying upgrade parts like this, which is, which is nice. So um, I was originally going to do a full like installation video of this and like, like showing you how to install this brace step by step but I kind of want to take my time on that, make sure I do it properly. Also, my, this is meant for a brand new chassis and because my chassis is not brand new and it's already bent, I will have to take time to like, like tweak my chassis a bit to make sure it's perfectly straight so I can't install this brace. So that's gonna take a lot of time and it's gonna be difficult to film, I think. So um, kind of have to just keep this update video short. I will end it here, but um, you will hear about this again and you will also hear about it in my review video, which is still going to happen. Um, all, of, all of these update videos are slowly building up to the final review of this car. And just bit by bit, um, like I'm getting more impressions of this truck. I haven't gotten to drive this as much as I would have liked so far because it did spend a bit of time um, waiting for parts. But... Um, for the couple times I drove it with 2S and then the couple times I drove it with 4S, I've been really enjoying the truck. I love how it drives overall um, so far. Um, and it, the parts seem to be holding up so far. I won't be able to do any hard durability tests at the moment because it is really cold outside and that's not really fair for the truck to be testing it at like below freezing temperatures because plastic always gets really brittle and um, depending on what material material you use, um, different plastics react differently. So, um, but I will still be driving it as I normally would, um, even in the snow and stuff. And if it stands up there, then durability is basically golden, I think, because if it can survive in below freezing temperatures, it can basically survive anywhere, is how I look at it. But I keep hitting the tripods. I'm sorry about that. But, um. Yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video or have any questions or any comments about the truck, you can always leave them down below. If you like these update videos or any other of my RC videos, you can subscribe um, to see those um, when they come out. And 
as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.